Welcome back to Dubai. We are here at Avaya's Partner Summit, Avaya Engage. I have with me Amit from Systech. Welcome to the show, Amit. Thank you for joining me. Good to see you again. So, for our audience who may not be familiar with Systech, sure. tell us who you are and what you do. Okay, so uh, we, are, we are a conversational AI company who's a close partner with Avaya. So my name is Ahmed, so I am the VP Sales. I'm located in Dubai, so I'm running the MENA and Asia Pacific operations uh, from this location in Dubai. So I hear you're on stage tomorrow right. at the customer section of the event. Uh, tell us a little bit around those, uh, those key messages or can you give us some sort of sneak preview of what you're going to talk about? Yes, sure. So uh, the theme of my presentation is AI is a journey, not a wandering. So uh, AI excites everyone, but sometimes uh, it lacks a vision which is divided into manageable pieces or, or, a, or a solid phasing because it's a long-term vision and some quick wins might become obstacles for the later phases. So a, a good plan from the beginning and choosing the right partners from the beginning might be a very, very good advantage for the later stages. So this will be our theme. And also there, a couple of hours after my presentation, there will be a customer presentation together with my colleagues from Avaya. So this is, a, 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 this is one of the largest telcos in the region. So they will be showcasing the conversational AI um, as part of the journey they started with us. Yeah, do, do you see a lot of companies suffering from this, uh, I guess, wandering on their AI journeys? Uh, honestly, very, very much. I, I still um, feel we need to educate the market. Uh, for example, I, I, I try to find names for those attitudes. For example, one of those attitudes is, attitudes is I want a chatbot attitude. So, we always tell our customers a chatbot is actually a starting point for your long journey. So you should think about, I want to invest in conversational AI, starting with the chatbots. And you should think about the whole journey because if you start with a chatbot and tomorrow you need something on the IVR, and if you cannot use the same technology here, then you have to have another technology. It means you will have two intelligences. It's also more like a paranoid situation where you have two communication strategies, two NLPs, two speech to text. So these type of things uh, are felt um, in the middle of the road. So yeah. it's good to be informed from the beginning. So okay. that, that will be something that we will emphasize in every occasion, actually. Okay. So AI, obviously a huge growth market right, right. now. Where does, the, um, where does the human being, the humble human being fit into wow. this? So I, I love this question. And this is also part of our um, narration, actually, because one of the things people, I'm the first thing people think about when we speak about AI is automation, right? It's yeah. all about automation and efficiency and productivity. But I think there's another side of the story because we are already running with machines, right? For example, IVR is a machine. And IVR will still be there once, once we have conversational IVR, but it will be more human-like. And uh, this human touch will actually humanize those technologies rather than make them more machine-like. So um, there will be many, many fields that will be more humanized because of conversational AI technology. And that's something we should emphasize as a market as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, in this field, it's, there's a lot of talk Yep. Okay, a lot of people out there saying AI can do this, can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what's fictitious and what's here, what's here today in the now that we can actually implement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. another good question. Thank you for that. Uh, I would rather start saying um, AI is not magic. Uh, it's just a software in the right. end. And uh, as much as we focus on the software, we should focus on the design. And we should be clear about our objecti objectives as well, because without having clear objectives and understanding of the overall design, AI might not give you what you dream of. So uh, I want to clarify that point now. And in terms of the market uh, maturity, honestly, I, I still believe we are in the tip of the technology adoption curve. Right. Still the leaders are there and they are experimenting. But actually the potential is fully realized by the professionals in this market. So actually, if you go to ACB now, the uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 executive center, you, can, you will see all the demos running there. You can test the speech to text, conversational IVR, voice biometrics, everything is there. And there are some leaders uh, which started very exciting journeys with Hawaii and Sestek. And this is a, a very good year for us, honestly, because we are feeling that the leaders are with us and they will lead the whole market and it will come very fast. But um, still, uh, there are still concerns to be addressed, especially coming back to my previous point about the vision and understanding of this long journey. Sure, sure. Okay, so conversational AI, um, obviously very important area to yourself. Sure. I mean, what, what are we likely to see over 2020 in this area? What sort of developments are gonna come to market? Honestly, I see a lot of uh, traction around these technologies. 
Um, and uh, the adoption here will might be surprisingly fast. Uh, although I cannot say uh, as a region, it's becoming a leading region for these technologies. I feel my understanding from the inputs from the region is once it starts, uh, it will make a splint and it will become a leader at a certain point because I can see the investment and the emphasis on robot, robotics and AI and there are now ministries on AI and I can see the traction. But still, we need some education, but once it is done, uh, there will be very fast uh, progress. Uh, this, that's my impression from the market. As well as the actual commercial inputs, actually, honestly. For this year especially, it's starting, we feel that, and the tide is coming. Sure, so, I mean, Dubai and the UAE, yep. especially, um, seems to be becoming a bit of a hub for this exactly. type of technology. Right, right. Um, you know, where, where does um, UAE sit in terms of the worldwide conversation in, on AI? Honestly, there is in a lot of enthusiasm around. I mean, I feel like everyone is in search of something very new, very innovative. And uh, I see people are very knowledgeable. The only problem is spreading this knowledge to all levels of the departments because, I mean, this is not something like um, multiple departments has, have to collaborate for bringing about a successful AI story. So I feel uh, from many fronts, uh, a lot of interest, traction and education. And I, I mean, even my daughter him, uh, herself, I saw uh, her uh, studying Arabic lesson and the, the, the lecture was about, uh, you know, Bitcoin and then AI, uh, e-commerce. I was really surprised because, you know, I, I really saw very advanced concepts there. Yeah. I started reading with her, you know, what, what was it? You know, I thought I could learn from something from these concepts. So it's a very good indication of the future. So uh, not just UAE, by the way, KSA is also investing a lot and we have a lot of traction in Kuwait. I think we're expecting one of the largest projects and it was initiated from Kuwait and it will be a worldwide case study if you ask me, hopefully. One branch is in uh, KSA, but uh, of course Dubai has, has a different, uh, I cannot say uh, different, but like um, there's more visibility around this uh, awareness. Uh, I, can, I can say that. Sure, well look, Amit, enjoy the rest of the event. Yes, I'm enjoying really well. already. Thank Thanks you for joining a lot. me. Thanks. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. You've been watching Comms Business Live with me, David Dungay. You can catch up with all the action using the Avaya Engage hashtag. Thank you for watching.